hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be doing a video on how i maintain my curls with straight hair heat free i posted a video on my instagram and you guys were definitely interested in seeing how i create pin curls in my hair to preserve my curls so as you guys can see with pin curling you kind of just want to follow the shape and direction of the curl but place it flat at your head and that's what i like most about pin curling as opposed to flexies and rollers is that you're able to sleep peacefully at night without being uncomfortable and for me it does do a great job of helping me maintain curls without reapplying heat once my hair has been straightened so for you guys that don't know as you can tell from this video my hair was straightened and i went ahead and got a trim while it was straightened and now i want to make sure i don't have to reapply heat i really do feel like that is what increases the risk of heat damage is touching up your hair with heat post styling so that's why i love to do heat free methods like this pin curling to keep up with my curls so once i find the direction that the curl naturally wants to flow into i just will use these slide in clips you can get these at your local beauty supply store or even a sally beauty um, and i find that the ones that have a little bit of a curve are better than these ones that kind of pinch because they'll slide in without creating any dents Another tip is that you don't want to use too large of a section because if you put too much hair in, you'll not only have a hard time getting the, the clip to hold the hair in place, but there is a greater likelihood that the clip will create an indentation in your hair. So what I'm doing is just combing each section out, seeing how the hair is falling, and then slowly but surely coiling the hair back up in that curl direction up to my head. Now, in these next few clips, it'll be going pretty fast, but don't worry, I'm going to slow it down once I get to the front. That way you guys can have a better view of exactly what I was doing. So I'm on my last two sections and I kind of want this hair to fall a certain way. You can see that it's somewhat there from what the stylist did. However, I did get rained on slightly. There's a lot of humidity in the air on my way back. I had my hair covered, thankfully, um, but I do feel like that's what made my curls drop so much. So what I'm doing is just combing and seeing what she kind of did, even though it's dropped a bit, I can still kind of see the direction in which the curls were falling before I left the salon combing it out making sure it's tangle free and then slowly but surely wrapping my hair in that direction in a circle and there are other ways to do this but this is just the way that works for me it's short proof and I haven't had any issues with it and it may take you more than one or two times to just get it right I find that I like to go slow and steady with this and make sure what I will say is I'd rather take my time doing it than kind of rush through because the way you go ahead and pin your hair is definitely the way the curls will come out. I also like to kind of leave the roots a bit on the straight and stretch side because if you curl it very tightly or coil it up very tightly, the curl will be tighter. If you make the pin curls a bit more loose, the curls will be more like a nice body wave curl. But if you roll them very tightly and all the way to the scalp you will have very very tight curls which for me it's not my preference i definitely have done that before and look like an oompa loompa it's a whole thing so for me i want more of a body wave effect to the curls as opposed to a super tight curl and that's why i'm leaving a little bit of leeway a little bit of slack at the root and just taking my time and lightly pinning each curl in place and again the slide and clips are going to be way easier to use if you need to use the other standard little flat clip you can but i'd highly recommend getting the slide and clips for pin curls all right i'm down to my last section again combing it out and kind of shaping it in the way that i want it to fall i want it to show off the feathering of my ends and kind of the longer layers i have around my face so i'm being intentional about not curling it or rolling it all the way up as you can see this is a perfect example of what i mean and then sliding in the clip for my pin curls this is an old school method but y'all it is surefire and effective you will definitely have beautiful curls and you don't even have to reapply heat like i said my hair was styled in salon and the curls fell out but you can definitely reactivate the curls by pin curling at night takes probably in total i would say about 15 minutes to do this and i made sure to not really apply any heavy serums i will take just a tiny bit of oil sheen just to lightly apply um 
over my hair to kind of keep flyaways at bay but other than that i won't apply too much product and i do feel like keeping my hair fairly product free kind of like how the stylist initially did it also helps me with not having to touch up my hair with any heat reapply heat or have my hair kind of revert sooner than i'd like it to all right, so now that we're all set and done, I'm just going ahead and getting any straight flyaways, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my silk scarf to preserve this at night. All right, I'm all said and done, and this is how the curls turned out the next day, guys. Even taking these curls out on the go, they were beautiful. I brushed them out a little bit so that they could fall even more, but I love the nice light waves that they created heat-free. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.